Finance and CFO of the group joins us now to talk about that. Mr. Bansali, good morning. Uh, can you Very give us, uh, can you, you know, tell us the reasons for why the numbers were slightly lower than what uh, the street was estimating? And on the growth side itself, what's the expectation going ahead? See, the numbers had been otherwise uh, reasonably good. In fact, it, 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 it has not been understood well. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at, we have grown by 7% organically and more than 17%, 17.4%, uh, including the cash king on the top line. And also on the profit, which is, uh, if you look at the cash profit or EBITDA, which we have grown by 34%, the margins have improved substantially. Mm. So on the sales growth, we could have expected more. But because uh, there has been a uh, uh, even mm. rainfall and also erratic rainfall in between. So this has impacted the summer brand. Mm. And this quarter was mainly dominated by summer. And so... Uh, it, uh, overall, uh, the growth, uh, while we have been able to maintain and increase the market share, if you look at our Navratna oil, market share during this quarter has increased substantially. And for the tars also, oil, tars and bombs, market shares have increased. But because of the season and the rural <coughs> offtake, which was a little lower because of many other reasons and challenging environment, uh, the overall, uh, the sales growth uh, could have been better, but it's, it's, it's to the, uh, uh, what otherwise could have been expected. Okay. But uh, the underlying tone is uh, still very intact and we are very strong, in fact. Okay. Uh, we, are, uh, we expect the good growth to come in in the next two quarters when the winter sets in. Uh, we are ready to take up uh, further aggressive growth from here. Okay. Winter is the distance, at least in Bombay, Mr. Bansadi. But uh, uh, you've already seen, say, one month of this quarter. Are you getting a sense that uh, the rural demand in particular is improving or any part of your demand is improving? Rural demand uh, still, uh, the feeling is still mixed feeling and it's not up to the expectation, mm. right? But, uh, uh, but the main reason is that the winter has, has started setting in and our winter products kind of Boroplus and uh, other products also are, uh, on winter side. There we expect good growth to come in, in the, this quarter and the next quarter then. Okay. okay. You, you spoke about a number of products where your market share has increased. Uh, can you tell us how much they have increased in those products and how much of your portfolio do those products comprise? See, the, for uh, Navratna Oil, our market share has increased by over 800 basis points. And uh, for face washes also, it has increased for fair and interim face washes, it has increased by over 60, 70 basis points. Uh, for Talcum also, it, it has increased uh, somewhat by around uh, 50 to 100 basis points. Mm. So on and on, because these are the products for uh, this quarter. So And the bonds also, it has increased marginally, Why, despite we being the leader, it has increased marginally. And so if you look at, uh, in addition to this, internationally also we have grown by around 12%. Mm. It, uh, despite the challenging environment across, across in Southeast Asia mm. kind of... Uh, Bangladesh and uh, in other countries as well. There mm -hmm. is currency volatility and many other things. But uh, despite this, we have been able to grow and uh, overall for the first half, the international business has also grown by 16%. We expect growth, growth to come in from the international business as well in the next uh, two quarters to come in. In the conference call, you did mention that Cash King sales were affected because of high inventory with old distributors and lower selling price by the older distributors. Uh, is that a fin is that something that you would expect in the uh, in Q3 and Q4 also? Uh, no, these were some integration issues which have been resolved. And mm -hmm. as you know, it was the first quarter, just first quarter after we took it over, and so there were some integration issues. There were all distribution distributors, and we have now moved to the other overall uh, major network. So there had been some stock issues with them. The old stocks were lying with, uh, with uh, some of the older distributors. And so these were the challenges which were reported. But now it is, uh, things uh, seem to be in control then. Okay. okay. Your uh, cash profit for the first half stands at about uh, 250 crores. That's a decent amount of cash you have. Uh, will we see more brand purchases? Uh, yes, we are. We are always on the lookout for... Uh, good value acquisitions and if there is an opportunity which come across and we feel that there is it, it can add value to us you would always go for it 
Oh yes, we'll also look forward to the acquisitions that you made. The one with Cash King was quite good. But you know, I just wanted to ask you on a lot of companies like yourselves have been enjoying the benefits of lower input prices, but you have had the additional benefit of pricing power as well. So you've actually gone ahead and taken some price hikes which has helped you in your gross margins. Um, any more price hikes that you will be taking in any of your products and from the 70% gross margins that you're sitting on, uh, do you think it could get better in the second half of the year? See, uh, see the prior, this margin increase has been, uh, has been because of many reasons. One, that we have worked very extensively on, uh, 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 on improving to, through the formulations, also doing long-term contracts on purchase price uh, 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 procurement side. And also because of the judicious price increases there were, we felt it was possible we have done. So all that has uh, helped us uh, gain this kind of an edge over others. And we are, we are having a very good margin. Going forward also, we expect that this kind of margins uh, should continue because we are the market leaders in wherever, in whatever uh, niche segments we are. So we do not foresee further challenges from here. You know, I'll tell you why I would worry. I'm looking at your investor presentation. Your 17% uh, growth and net of Cash King 7% growth is the lowest since the fourth quarter of FY14. So it's the lowest in about six quarters. Uh, therefore, should we worry, or is this a passing phase and next quarter you're going to do well? That's Q3. Uh, see, particularly with respect to Cash King, as you are mentioning, see, it, it is not an issue of uh, worry, because if you look at the, we are doing the integration very fast, mm -hmm. and there would be, uh, you know, with any acquisition, you will find that there would be some challenges when you acquire and integrate. And uh, as uh, it was mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, as you were referring, uh, there had been challenges with respect to the stocks with the distributors and these had uh, overall if you need to look at uh, is for the assignals and the market share mm. has increased for, by around uh, more than 300, uh, 350 basis points. No, I'm not worrying about Cash King. What I'm saying is your overall sales is uh, uh, either 7% or 17%, which is the lowest in six quarters. So, I mean, should we worry that your Q3 also growth would be more in this space uh, rather than the normal 20% plus that you have been posting in the last five quarters? I think you also need to relate it with uh, the kind of environment which, uh, through which you pass through. So it, uh, I agree. Overall, as I said, that the inter inherent and internal strength is very, uh, we are very strong in terms of the business, but you need to look at the environment, uh, environment and how the peers also perform within this environment. So. Mm -hmm. We always have performed, outperformed the overall environment, and we, we will continue to do so. And uh, finally, would you worry about uh, competition from something like a Patanjali products? After all, you are also in, uh, you know, products like Navratna and Jhandu, where there could be competition. Uh, I mean, we are. You see, India is a very big country, and everyone has has their own space within this. So. And our marketing team, marketing and R&D works very relentlessly in terms of uh, positioning the brands and also uh, coming out with the innovative value-added products to the consumers. And that we have done okay. earlier also. So we do not expect any threat from there. All right. We leave it at that, uh, uh, Mr. Bansari. Always a pleasure speaking with you. My Thank pleasure. you very much Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Sir. Well, uh, the uh, uh, Sensex and the Nifty moved into the green mid-cap substantially in the green at half a percent and the Bank Nifty almost a percent higher. Yeah. So advanced declines in a pretty spot, uh, seven stocks in the green. On that note, uh, it's time for Chartbuster.